It was the largest aircraft ever built. Six engines, 640 tons of raw power, and a name that meant the dream. But when Russia invaded Ukraine, that dream was shattered. Now, a $3 billion race is underway to bring the Antonov AN-225 Mariah back to life. The story of the Maria begins in the final years of the Cold War. The Soviet Union needed a way to transport its space shuttle, Buran, across vast distances. So engineers at Antonov Design Bureau in Kiev were given an impossible challenge. Build a plane larger and stronger than anything the world had ever seen. In 1988, the AN-225 took flight for the very first time. It was a mechanical marvel that dwarfed even the American C-5 galaxy. With a wingspan longer than a football field and the ability to carry over 250 tons, the Maria became a symbol of Soviet ambition and later Ukrainian pride. After the fall of the USSR, the AN-225 was mothballed, left to gather dust. But in 2001, Antonov engineers brought her back to life. From turbine engines to entire train carriages, no cargo was too large. During the COVID-19 pandemic, she carried millions of masks and medical supplies across continents. The Maria became more than a plane. She was a global celebrity. Aviation fans around the world would gather just to watch her land. There was, and still is, only one Maria. February 24th, 2022, the day the dream died. Russia launches its full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Hostomol Airport, just outside Kiev, becomes an early battleground. Inside one of its hangars sat the AN-225, undergoing maintenance and unable to escape. As Russian forces advanced, fierce fighting erupted on the airfield. When the smoke cleared, the hangar was in ruins. The Maria lay destroyed, her massive fuselage torn apart, her wings shattered, her cockpit burned beyond recognition. The world mourned, and aviation lovers across the globe posted three simple words, Maria is gone. But almost immediately, Antonov engineers vowed to rebuild her. The surviving components were cataloged, analyzed, and stored, including several engines and sections of the tail. Antonov estimates the rebuild could cost between $500 million and $3 billion, depending on how much of the original airframe can be reused. And here's where the story gets fascinating. A second unfinished AN-225 fuselage already exists, built during the Soviet era but never completed. Now, engineers plan to combine parts from both aircraft to create what could become Maria II. Funding remains the main challenge. Ukraine's government, private donors, and aerospace partners across Europe, even discussions with Airbus, are exploring ways to make it happen. For Ukraine, the AN-225 isn't just an airplane. It's a symbol of national pride, resilience, and defiance. Rebuilding the Maria would send a powerful message to the world that even in the face of destruction, dreams can be rebuilt. Some reports suggest construction could begin before 2030. Others believe a full flight-ready version might take a decade. But for many Ukrainians, that doesn't matter. What matters is that the dream will rise again. Today, the charred remains of the AN-225 rest quietly in Hostomol. But her spirit, the spirit of innovation, courage, and hope, still flies. And whether it takes five years or 15, the dream will return to the skies. Because the world's largest aircraft was never just made of metal. It was made of imagination and imagination can never be destroyed. If you love aviation and the stories that shape our skies, check out one of these videos now.